Welcome back to Christmas Stories, the 9th of December. Let's see what the story is going to be today. Number nine, here we are. Fancy Nancy's Splendiferous Christmas. This is a lovely story. Marie, if you're listening in Pickering, this is for you. Let's go read it together. Today's story is called Fancy Nancy Splendiferous Christmas. Fancy Nancy Splendiferous Christmas by Jane O'Connor. Our house never looks fancy except Ta-ta! At Christmas time! I love Christmas so much. It is important to find a tree with a wonderful aroma. That's a fancy word for smell. I think bigger is always better. But my dad says we must compromise. That means we end up with the tree my mom wants. On Christmas Eve, we get out the ornaments. Some were grandpa's when he was a little boy. These are heirlooms, my mom says. That's fancy for things that are old and valuable. Here's our tree topper. Isn't it just gorgeous? I bought it last summer with all my birthday money. It's never too early to prepare for Christmas. We always wait for Grandpa to decorate the tree. He'll be here very soon. While we wait, we bake Christmas cookies. My sister helps with the sprinkles. Mmm, delectable. That's fancy for yummy. Guess which one I decorated. I finish wrapping all the presents. This quilt is for Maribel. Put lace on anything and voila, it's fancy. I also made a tiny Christmas card for her. Next, we go caroling, which is fancy for singing Christmas songs. Back at home, still no grandpa. So we plead with our parents. Pleading is like begging, only fancier. Please, please, pretty please, can we just put up the tree topper now? Oh, la la, everything it says on the box is true. It spins, it flashes on and off and changes color. My dad says that Grandpa called. He'll be here any minute. We wait and wait and wait some more. How can a minute take so long? Frenchie is not as patient as I am. So I unwrap one of her presents, a tug toy. Frenchie is strong, but I am stronger. I pull hard. Oops, the tree sways. Oh no, oh no. Look out below. The tree topper smashes to pieces. I am devastated, which is upset only a zillion times worse. Just then, Grandpa arrives. I tell him what happened. When life gives you cracked eggs, make eggnog, he says. What does that mean, I ask? It means you improvise. That's a fancy word for using whatever's around to make something. We make a new tree topper with glitter and pom-poms and ribbons. Grandpa says, one day you will have your own family and you will tell them how we made this together. Oh, it's going to be an heirloom, I explained to my sister. 
Decorating the tree is so much fun. There's no such thing as too much tinsel, I tell everyone. Only one word describes how magnificent, joyous and sparkly Christmas morning is. Splendiferous. And this page says, Joya Noel, everybody. And that's French for Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this lovely story today and that you will join me tomorrow for another story. Bye-bye.